know so thank you so much for asking me all of these questions on Instagram and I got so many questions so I think I will need to make several videos but I do want to try and answer all of them because I think these are probably what many other people can wonder about as well so yeah I will get straight to the questions So I have my questions open here and some of them are pretty long so I will try to summarize uh, yeah so this this girl asks about uh, do you think you can permanently mess up your hunger and appetite signals because she doesn't feel the actual stomach hunger until late in a day like 4 p.m. so what should she do and in this situation if you don't feel your hunger cues then uh, I think it's very beneficial to start just eating regularly and implement more like the mechanical eating uh, at least in uh, like when you start out maybe first few months and see how you go uh, yeah and even in my book I also say that intuitive eating uh, it's very hard to start intuitive eating when you're just coming from an eating disorder and our appetite and hunger cues everything is messed up so to reach to intuitive eating it can be very good to follow some recovery guidelines and use some recovery tools such as regular eating or even the mechanical eating or eating enough calories like making sure you are eating enough and also skipping all the calorie compensations and all the other recovery tools so this is why like straight after coming from eating disorders it's very hard to like just eat intuitively because as you can see like she's eating i guess like intuitively but she's not hungry until 4 pm and yeah and this type of eating schedule is not healthy and it can't help you to recover so use the regular eating uh, when you start out your recovery and you have a like, very hard time to eat normally uh, and regular eating can mean eating any, every 2-3 hours and making sure you are eating your breakfast and lunch and dinner and then snacks uh, between as well and also you can use the homeodynamic recovery method the guidelines recommended there like how much to eat every day to make sure that you are in full recovery mode so the next person asks uh, how do you know when you're fully recovered i love your posts you have helped me so much thank you so much uh, and i will give you some points and this is not a complete list but something i wrote down so generally how the full recovery came for me or how generally it can feel for you but everybody can be a little bit different and that's fine so i would say you can eat when hungry and stop when full you have no excess cravings uh, your weight is stabilized you are at your set point weight and you feel that you can eat when hungry stop when full and you can eat whatever whenever and however much and uh, yeah you just feel normal again and you don't also think about food excessively or just uh, you think about food when you need to eat and you have no fear foods or food anxiety you have no binging and no like overeating in the terms of how it was uh, when you had your eating disorders of course even uh, normal people sometimes overeat but it's not into the extreme as you as it was in your eating disorders or even in the recovery and you just generally trust and follow your body and there is no restriction you don't need to compensate your calories and also the exercise uh, you exercise because it feels good but it's not to burn calories or to reduce the guilt about the food you just ate and physically also you have your period and you don't feel cold anymore and all the other uh, physical recovery stuff has happened as well and uh, you generally feel at peace with foods you have no food obsession the food is not important in your life anymore you have a healthy body image uh, you accept your body as it is and you don't try to change it uh, you never want to diet or restrict again and also you won't go back to eating disorder like when you feel sad or lonely or for any other reason and you have developed some other healthy ways to cope with uh, like tough life situations and generally like you have moved on with your life 
and you are focusing on something else besides the food and eating and your body and you definitely don't have the eating disorder habits like weighing yourself body checking, counting calories, uh, eating only healthy because uh, of your eating disorder fears and also you get your personality back, you generally become more in tune with your body and intuition and also your soul, like who you are as a person and uh, you don't have the identity of your eating disorder anymore but the identity is like who you truly are the true self who you are in your heart and soul and you have like so many other interests and hobbies besides like the food and eating and your body and they don't control your life anymore and also you can have like improved uh, confidence about yourself and uh, here I just want to add that it's not like after eating so the recovery you are this like superwoman and nothing can break you and you never have bad days no you you're just gonna be you're still gonna be the normal human being with the bad days and good days but it doesn't uh, come from the food and eating and your body anymore but generally maybe you have your other like life obstacles you are dealing with and this is fine and you don't have to be this like perfect human being as well but as i said like you have other ways to cope with uh, difficult life situations uh, yeah so you are not like all the time happy and confident and everything but generally those things have improved for you and also what i have noticed uh, on myself as well is that uh, i very rarely get triggered I don't even remember when it, when was the last time I got triggered by something, uh, something that triggered my eating disorder. So it has been at least maybe a couple of years now. Uh, yeah, because I recovered on my own and that's why I feel that I know like so much about the eating disorder and, and uh, I just don't fall for that anymore. So the next question is interesting one and uh, I will try to summarize. So uh, this person have had eating disorder before and now she's working very closely with children and she's trying to teach them like the nutritional information and I guess the healthy eating but at the same time she's now wondering if this kind of uh, behavior can uh, mess up the children's eating habits in the future and maybe she just has to trust them more with the intuitive eating uh, and yeah, what is my opinion on this? So firstly, I don't have the personal kind of information or something to tell you from my own experience But I will link you like two resources where you can find out more So the first thing is to get the intuitive eating book and there is a whole chapter about children and intuitive eating And what I really love about this book is that there is like a real life uh, stories of families and how did they deal with the children and intuitive eating and also when the children had already like messed up hunger cues or maybe they had problem with overeating or even binge eating then what to do in this situation so check out this book and the second thing I can recommend uh, I will link down below this uh, page like resource and this is from the Ellen Shatter website and there's like a whole page of different articles about children and intuitive eating and uh, for all kinds of life situations but the basic thing I think with children is that we definitely want them to like encourage them to trust their body more and make the intuitive eating choices and uh, we as parents or we as adults with uh, having our own eating issues, our own fears, especially eating disorders. Uh, like we have to make sure that we don't project our fears to the children and project our fears about food and our rules about food to the children. And I think children are very vulnerable to these things. So yeah, and that's why I think like reading those two resources I gave you can be very beneficial or a good place to start. So I think I will end this video for now and I know it has only been like three questions but I promise like next week I will answer even more of your questions but I just don't want this video to be like an hour long. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Uh, I hope this video was helpful to you and thank you so much for all your comments and your likes. And, uh, and you can definitely subscribe to my channel for more Q&A videos very very soon. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!